Hello students, now it's the time to begin our class, right? Yes or no? So they are just silent? Yeah, okay. So which chapter are we studying? We are studying or discussing about the invertebrates and in invertebrates we have completed one invertebrate what is that silkworm and today we will continue the remaining portion of honeybee and complete it okay and do you know today's date do you know today's date or not two seven right just 7th 2077 and day is could you remember the day Wednesday so you may be confused please don't be confused so we are still in lockdown it's increasing and I have already shared this screen yesterday we completed the types of honeybees it was mentioned there that there are three types of honeybees what are they queen bee next one drone bee and worker bee so worker bees are the busiest bees and drone bees are lazy bees and queen bee is very very talented one because she leads the hive. Dear students, now let's begin today's class. Today, first of all, we are discussing about life cycle of honeybee, right? Life cycle of honeybee. So we discussed the life cycle of silk moth completes in four stages. Could you remember what are they? They are egg, larva, pupa and adult, adult, right? So in case of honeybee also, the life cycle consists of four stages. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult, egg, larva, pupa and adult. So honeybees, they are the insects which poses colony and they are perennial what is said here perennial what is the meaning of perennial they live more than one year they live for more than one year and there are three types of bees in the hive they are queen bee worker bee and drone bees or males so one thing you have to remember queen bee is able to lay maximum number of eggs so it is said that there are 10,000 to 60,000 workers up to 500 drones and only one queen bee so queen bee is capable of laying many many eggs so here here is one worm one word can you see your swarm can you see students i'm going to circle it what do you mean your swarm <coughs> take one hive and split it into two means if there are many bees at that time the hive is divided into two parts how can it be divided by forming new queen bee when there, is, there are when there are two queen bees then the hive is divided into two some worker bee then some drones they go to go they go with new queen and some they will left be left over there only now here is another thing nuptial flight or mating 
mating or nuptial flight is the flight of queen bee and drones in the sky where many drones involved in sexual intercourse with queen bee okay not only one many is given here mates with several drones queen bee one but many drones they involved in sexual intercourse with queen bee and immediate after mating or doing sexual intercourse the male or drone dies but it is said queen bee mates with many drones means she stores more amount of sperm she stores more amount of sperm in her sperm sac in her body there is small packet where sperms are stored many sperms and those sperms can remain in her body for more time up to 2 years 3 years also and when she wants to lay eggs some sperms huge with a combined with the egg and fertilized egg comes sometimes the egg comes without fertilization so here if the egg is fertilized it gives female workers means either queen bee or workers and if it is unfertilized then it gives rise to drones make your concept clear the honey bee queen bee is capable of laying large number of eggs the eggs may be hatched or fertilized or unfertilized the eggs may be fertilized or unfertilized if the egg is fertilized is hatches into workers if the male sorry egg is unfertilized it gives rise to drones okay it gives rise to drones drones means males now let's discuss the different stages in the life cycle of honey bee first stage is egg so i said honey bee or queen bee can lay maximum number of eggs but she does not produce at once per day she produces near about 3000 eggs whose size is nearly near to the or nearly and that is the size of pin head that small thumb pins that must have a small one and where does she lay the eggs she lays the eggs in the hexagonal wax cell is given here of honeycomb hexagonal means containing six sides and after laying the eggs what does she do she packs those eggs closely together within the cells color of the cell that egg is white white color and after 3 days the eggs hatch and change into larva eggs hatch and change into larva okay it's not so complicated eggs what do you remember 3000 eggs per day and the eggs are kept in the hexagonal wax cell of the honeycomb they are white in color and within 3 days the eggs hatch into larvae dear students already we discussed larvae is voracious stage voracious means it feeds on continuously without stoppage 
there is no chance to stop eating and eating and eating and remember larva is microscopic very small in size white in color and does not contain legs and eyes very interesting no legs no eyes and later on it gets food who provides food to the larva or larvae the food is provided by worker bees worker bees duty is to provide food to the larvae larvae are fed by the workers mainly two types of food what are the two types of food one is royal jelly what a name is given right royal jelly so royal jelly is a special food produced by worker bees and all the larvae they get royal jelly up to 3 days first day second day third day afterwards they do not get it all of them do not get it only that larva which is going to be changed to queen bee will get royal jelly continuously all rest of others which are going to develop drone or worker bee they will get next thing that is bee bread or honey bread remember students if the larva gets royal jelly all the time all the days till it changes into pupa it changes into or it becomes queen bee and if the larva gets royal jelly for 3 days and remaining 3 days it gets honey bread or bee bread then it changes into drones or workers and students i have already said larvae are voracious they eat continuously the larvae of honey bee also eat continuously and then rest and change their skin four to five times four to five times and after six day it changes into pupa it changes into pupa and the workers seal them cover them like small cells which is called brood cells and it is said that pupae are passive and they must be protected so the protective layer is made by workers so workers they have got great role in life cycle or in uh, the colony of honey bee next one is pupa so students do you know after which day the larva changes into pupa after 6 days okay now pupa pupa is passive stage and here we have to remember one term what is the term histogenesis histogenesis what is histogenesis the process of development of a legs eyes and wings in pupa stage is called histogenesis legs are developed eyes are developed and wings are developed and the larval organs like pseudo 
feet, that long body, it is disappear. That is called histolysis. If something is developed new, it is called histogenesis. If, if some organ is lost, it is called histolysis. H I S T O L Y S I S. Histolysis and histogenesis you have to keep in mind. So, though pupa is very passive, it does not eat anything, but various changes occur inside its body and the inactive stage gives rise to very active one that is adult and pupa stage lasts for different days because three types of bees, three types of pupal stage are there like within 7.5 days larva changes into queen bee for 12 uh, means for workers 12 days and for drones 14.5 days here you have to keep in mind very short time is needed for queen bee a bit long time is needed for workers and very long time is taken for drones you have to keep in mind if the larva gets every time royal jelly then it changes into queen bee then uh, means every time means for six days but if the larvae gets chance to have royal jelly for three days and remaining three days honey bread or bee bread then it changes into either worker or drones. Now how to know whether it is a worker or drones? Very simple. If the egg was unfertilized, drone is produced. If the egg was fertilized, worker is produced. Very simple. Students, now let's discuss the last stage. What is that? Adult. So, when new insect is developed inside the puparium, puparium, what is puparium? That is the outer cover of pupa. Then the insect breaks the wall and comes out. It is called imago. The new insect that comes out by rupturing, R-U-P-T-U-R-I-N-G, rupturing the wall of Puparium is called imago and its wings are wet. Later on, it dries the wings and flies away. So, from the pupae of honeybees, we can get three types of honeybees, queen bee, workers and drums. So, remember, Number of workers, 10,000 to 50,000. Drones, 100 to 500. And queen bee, single. But if there are two queen bees, then what will happen? At that time, the beehive divides into two. Means some they will follow old queen, some they follow new queen, and then two hives are produced, are found. Okay, students, here is one chart. So, what is the type of honeybee, lifespan, egg, larva, pupa, and time duration of life cycle, number of bees, function. Okay, so let's discuss first one. First is none other than queen bee. Queen bee lives for two to three years and before her death, she produces 
न्यू क्वीन ओके एंड हर मींस द एग ऑफ क्वीन बी रिमेंस फॉर थ्री डेज लार्वा 5.5 डेज प्यूपा 7.5 डेज एंड विद इन सिक्सटीन डेज न्यू क्वीन बी इज फाउंड नंबर इज वन वेर द फंक्शन टू ले द एग्स एंड नेक्स्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इज इट प्रोड्यूसेज अ सेंटेड सब्सटेंस कॉल फेरोमोन फेरोमोन एंड फेरोमोन डिफर्स फ्रॉम वन क्वीन बी टू एंडर क्वीन बी दैट्स वाई द वर्कर्स ड्रोन्स दे डू नॉट मिक्स अप ओके इट गाइड्स देम टू रिसीव देयर हाइट करेक्टली फेरोमोन वर्कर्स लाइफ स्पैन नियर अबाउट वन एंड हाफ मंथ देयर एक थ्री डेज लार्वा सिक्स डेज प्यूपा ट्वेल्व डेज एंड विद इन ट्वेंटी वन डेज दे चेंज इन टू अमिट देयर लाइफ साइकिल कंप्लीट नंबर ऑफ बीज टेन थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड we discuss they are the busiest bird the means bees and they are the nurses also they nurse the brood clean the colony and forage for food means go from one place to another one flower to another and collect the nectar drone about 4 to 5 weeks egg 3 days larva 6 days pupa 14.5 days and it takes a little bit long, long time to complete life cycle 23.5 days number is 100 to 500 and it has only one work that is to mate with the queen bee because for sexual reproduction male is essential so it is needed Dear students, that is all about life cycle of honey bee. So here the larvae do not go from one place to another. Just they have to depend upon workers. Workers provide either jelly bee, royal jelly, or honey bread or bee bread. My students, here is something. Do you know it's given? What the first one? Honey bee is the only insect that produces food eaten by humans. So we eat the food first, by the way. We are very champion to eat that food. So lovely food. Number two, a honey bee's wings stroke about two hundred beats per second. That's why we hear buzz sound. Two hundred beats within one second. Third one, a honey bee can fly up to six miles and as fast as fifteen miles per hour. One mile equals to near about one point six kilometer. See. Six miles means near about ten kilometer can fly from one place to another. A honey bee will fly ninety thousand miles, the equivalent to three orbits around the Earth, to collect one kg of honey. That's why flying and flying and flying, and flying and collecting and collecting and searching and searching. Next one, a ho a honey bee visits fifty to Hundred flowers during a collection trip. Minimum fifty, hundred, because it cannot be collected easily. Honey bees are one of great mysteries because of because they have remained unseen for twenty million years. No seen at all. And then, five hundred gram of honey requires one thousand one hundred fifty two bees to travel. 112 miles and visit 4.5 million flowers see they travel very 
great distance. That's why they help in pollination also. See? And an average worker bee makes only half teaspoonful of honey in its lifetime. Because there are many, that's why more honey is collected, right? And the amount of honey production depends upon the flowering season also. If there are more flowers, if there is more nectar, then more honey is collected. Otherwise, the unfertilized egg of a honeybee is haploid and contains 16 chromosomes, while the fertilized egg of a honeybee is diploid and contains 32 chromosomes. So students, those things did you know, also discussed. Now we have got a little bit less work is left. What is that? One is economic importance of honeybee. And next one is reasonable facts. What is the first economic importance of honeybee? So, honeybees can learn something, means can teach us something. That it teaches us how to be social, how to live in a society, and how to perform the division of labor, isn't it? Even the insects they do have, means why don't you have it? We have to follow it. Number second is, okay students, here is given the scientific name of one honeybee, Apis mellifera, M-E-L-L-I-F-E-R-A. They are environment friendly and vital pollinators, remember. They transfer, they help to transfer pollen grains from, they transfer themselves from one flower to another. And they give us delicious food. What is that? Honey. Very delicious food. So honey is rich in enzymes, vitamins, water and minerals necessary for our life. So it is also complete food. And honey contains pinocentrin. Pino sembrin, sembrin, P I N O C M B R I N, Pino sembrin, which improves the functioning of our brain. That's why I suggest you daily one teaspoon of full of honey ojai. Okay? Let's have every day. If possible, we have with milk. Or hot water, isn't it? Next thing, bee wax is a natural wax making candle, shaving cream, cold cream, etc. Just rear honeybees and get many, many benefits. Now, students, let's discuss next thing. What is that? So, honey is useful for the patients also who are suffering from many diseases because it does not contain fat, cholesterol, sodium, right? And honey, if you talk about it, it is rich in vitamins A, B1, B2, B6 and it helps to prevent heart diseases. Other diseases also they are like. It is to cure anthritis and it gives us better sleep also. Next thing, honeybees help in pollination. As a result, the production of crop increases and finally, when honey bees are reared, then farmers' economic strength status increases. So, in village, some of the farmers are there. 
they have got some beehives 10 15 20 nowadays it can be done like that so we can get RBCL beehive just you keep the bees find one queen bee and keep some others and slowly number will increase and there must be flowering plants nearby and they can get natural honey and can sell do you know what is the cost of honey maybe 500 rupees per kg last time i went to buy honey in one shop and i found the honey of beer maori have you heard this beer maori that is wild honey bee so the cost was near about 2000 rupees or 2500 rupees per kg not per kg it was for 200 ml means 2000 fives are 10,000 10,000 rupees per kg 200 gram 2000 means 1000 gram 10,000 rupees see that is wild one but that wild also can be made domesticated and honey can be produced okay Students, so let me see what are the students doing. Alright, Asok, did you write something? Asok, did you write something or not? Did you write something? Now tell, what did you write? Okay, come on, what did you write? You just say. Students, please everybody open your video. Your video is closed. Please open it so that I can check what you are doing and you will get the chance to continue. Only Asok's video. Now, okay. Sabota is there. Others? Continue, Asok. Okay, Sabal, the your turn now. So, 40, uh, no, 40 minutes time is completed, this is the system. Now, students, they will connect once again. So, I think the, this Zoom knows one period should be up only 40 minutes, right? Isn't it? But what to do, we are taking the class of um, one hour. So, when it gets 
disconnected again we have to connect it i'm just sharing the screen to the students uh, so it's already shared now only one part is left that is some reasonable facts six people they are in waiting room good admit all so still they are coming let me see how many are left those people also has come sujal jerome safalda ashok shreya good Okay, okay, students. Yeah, read uh, this. Oh, Sabalta was reading, right? Sabalta. Okay, continue, Sabalta. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, since we are discussing the last portion, that is some reasonable facts. It's here. So, uh, consolation can be asked: Why is silkworm called the queen of fibers? So, silkworm is called the queen of fibers because it forms quality fiber, which is shiny, strong, long, and attractive. There is no any other insect. which gives such type of fibers and second is the cocoon of silkworm silk moth is kept in boiling water or hot oven why to destroy the gelatinous substance because the silk thread is joined with some sticky material so to make it weaken we have to keep it farmers keep the silk moths egg in a cold place because there may not be availability of mulberry leaves if there are no sufficient mulberry leaves then the larvae of silk moth we call them silk worm they die and there is loss to the farmers the larva of a bee which is fed on royal jelly only for whole larval stage by workers develops into the queen bee so if the larva fertilize egg when fertilized egg is hatched it changes into larva if the larva is fed with royal jelly for 6 days continuously it changes into queen bee if it is fed royal jelly for 3 days and honey bread afterwards then it changes either drone or worker p point honey bees are vital pollinators why because they help in cross pollination and ensure fertilization in many flowering plants it helps in the fertilization and if there is fertilization more crop is produced and number 6 honey honey in the honey is the good food for human beings not in honey is the good food for human beings because honey contains different type nutrients like vitamins protein sugar enzymes and makes us healthy and wealthy and sharp minded our mind also becomes very sharp so for that we have to take honey okay students so lockdown is continuing and our study what is also going on right one chapter of physics one chapter of chemistry one chapter of biology we have completed fourth classification of elements and invertebrates invertebrates 
silkworm and honeybee completed. So dear students, this is very dangerous time. Everybody is afraid. There is strong barrier. We should not cross it. Otherwise, very, very dangerous situation will occur. There are now some passions of coronavirus in Kathmandu also. In my locality, the first case which was there in Nepal was the case that the lady was staying in Ghanistan in Gongabu. Till today, the death has gone up to three and corona suffers more than 400. So be safe, be healthy and utilize the time for study. Today this much and tomorrow I will guide you the exercise of the chapter in body breaths. Please practice, practice and practice. I am also safe in destination education hub. It is in Baniata and you are safe in your own house. Please follow the rules. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.